All right, so now we're going to do mail merge, but we're going to use Excel to do it instead, right? So we're going to create a spreadsheet, title, first name, surname, company, address, and amount. Change like that. All right, so this way we will have different numbers, right? So I'm going to save this, and wherever I choose to save it, I need to remember where I save it, so I'm going to save it on your desktop. So I created the list, and it's saved. So this Excel file is sent to me. I have everything I need already. I'm going to leave the space for the things I need to put in. This is amount. I put it back in caps so that you'll know. Same thing I just did. First title, first name, surname, um, company, and address. But now I'm going to choose select recipients. But this time, pay attention, I'm not choosing type a new list. I am choosing use existing list. When I choose use existing list, what that means is I'm going to use a list that I've already created in another program. And the list that I've already created in another program is in Excel. So when I choose use existing list, it's going to carry me to um, the file choosing menu. So I'm going to go to my desktop and the name of the file is list. So I open up the file. And now, you may not be able to see it very clearly, but you will see that it picks up that there is a, there is a sheet inside that um, Excel workbook. The name of it is sheet one. And then there's a little tick here that says, first row of data contains column headers. So I tick that and I make sure that the first row of data contains column headers because when I created it in Excel, the first row actually had column headers. And then I click OK. I'm going to highlight title. And I'm going to choose um, insert merge field and I'm going to print title. And then I'm going to choose first name. And I'm going to insert first name. This is the exact same thing that happens with um, the other where, the other method. The only thing that changes is where we get any data from this time. And then I'll highlight amount and I'm going to change amount to amount. All right, so now let me open back up the um, spreadsheet so y'all could see this side by side. So that's the information that I should see. So now when I go to this document here and I click preview results, I'm supposed to see the first person as... Mr. Spongebob. So that's literally what it is there, right? So I'm going to cycle through and it should change to 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6. If you choose the Excel one, make sure you create it and you have headings in the first row. And then everything else is the same that as I've just shown. <laughs>